Uh, welcome to uh, Highbury College Carpentry and Joinery Department. Um, this is our um, large workshop. We have uh, two workshops, um, uh, one really large one and a, a smaller one downstairs. There are bench areas, so if you're practically minded, we do a lot of the first year in the bench area, and later on in the second year, when you've actually got some hand skills up together, we release you out in this larger area to do site carpentry. We've also got a level three program, so if you go up through the programs, level one, level two, level three, you get to level three at the, the top end, if you like, and uh, you do uh, actually a lot of uh, hand skills work throughout all of the levels, but the level three is obviously aimed at more technical, more running jobs and things. So people who come to us like practical skills, like work with their hands, but however, you do have to do an amount of theory because you can't just go on site if you don't know the theory that backs up the actual hand skills and the work. So a percentage of the time will be spent in the workshop. Usually it can vary, but between 60, 70 percent in the workshop, and then the rest would be uh, doing theory side of things. Uh, the courses actually um, involve uh, the use of many hand skills. So we use hand tools in the first year, and we use power tools in the first year. A second year, you're actually expected to work a little bit more on your own or in twos, in pairs. So the kind of work you do in the second year is very different and it requires you to be a team, perhaps team orientated in the second year, where in the first year you tend to be working on your own jobs. Uh, there are many different parts to the course. Uh, they usually it's modular, but it doesn't mean that the modules, the modules do tend to run concurrently rather than you just step in and step out. They don't work so well that way. So there's a variety of different things to do. Uh, there's uh, folder work, there's NVQ, so if you basically become an apprentice, you actually get the NVQ as well as the diploma. So if you just come on a diploma course, you can get some experience and some hand skills and some knowledge, but the apprentices, they will do diploma and NVQ together. The NVQ is a trade qualification, that's how you get your CSCS card, blue card and gold card, which makes you a tradesman, as opposed to if you just get the actual diploma on its own, you can go and work for a general builder, but it doesn't necessarily get you on all the large sites.